you can send a lot of information in, into a Facebook product catalog. But sometimes it's hard to understand what type of information you have on your website. For example, it's easy for our plugin to uh, know what title to use, what's the price of a product, what's the description, if the product is in stock or out of stock, and stuff like that. But for example, if you have a, a product attribute with color, we have no idea about it. So we have um, a way to map existing information to the correct feed field. And I will show you how you can do this. This is the plugin, uh, the feed plugins main page. Now we have these product attributes inside our um, store, color and size. And what I want to do is to add the two fields in the feed. You can do this pretty easy. This uh, section right here, map extra fields, can help. And you select the corresponding the correct product attribute. Now size. And again, size. Um, as you can see right here, these fields are used for both, both Facebook and Google. Some um, fields are Google specific and some are Facebook specific like these ones. You can also add a custom field if you need it for, I don't know, maybe we don't have the, 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 the name in this selector. So you can just add custom field, give it a name don't leave any empty spaces and again map it to something i don't know what you want to use maybe tags and you have these checkboxes telling the plugin to use this field for um, facebook feeds google merchant feeds or google custom remarketing now i don't need this uh, field right here once you have these uh, fields mapped correctly the feed will start to use them. Let's just regenerate this feed. Okay. Once the job is done, we will check. Okay. And uh, yeah, we have, we have color, for example, red. We have, um, well, all the color, colors that are uh, available in the, in the, for the products. So this is how you can map existing product attributes or um, custom fields to a field in your feeds. It's pretty easy. You can also add information to a product. But I will make another video to show you how you can do it. Uh, for example, if you don't have the, 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 the information that you want inside your store, you don't have color, you don't have a size, or you don't have a, a gender, or you don't have a material or anything, product dimensions. If you don't have them, you can map, uh, you can add these extra information. But this is for a different video.